Hello, so my name is Lucy and I wanted to make a short video to welcome people to the Facebook group and to introduce myself. So I'm from Dublin and I created this group to share with people ideas that helped me recover from long COVID and chronic fatigue syndrome. And the two main approaches that I used were Dr. John Sarno's TMS approach and the internal family systems approach. And I'm gonna share more about those two approaches as, as time goes on. So I'm not a medical professional, so anything I share is not medical advice or mental health advice. I'm just sharing the things that helped me. And today I wanted to explain the very basics of Dr. John Sarno's teachings. So, he coined the term tension myositis syndrome or TMS and he suggests that certain conditions where there's no known physical cause could be TMS and that means that they're caused by repressed emotions. The main example that he gives is chronic pain. He mentions chronic fatigue but he doesn't go into a huge amount of detail about chronic fatigue. So one really important part of Dr. John Sarno's teachings is that he's not trying to say that the symptoms are in your head or the symptoms are made up or they're a fiction of your imagination. What he's saying is that the symptoms are caused by repressed emotions. They are still symptoms, they are still physical. You know, for instance, if you got a headache, of course, something physical is going on for you to get that headache but that the headache could be caused by an emotion that you're not aware of. And there's lots of examples of this mind-body connection where even in day-to-day -day normal life, we're aware of how emotions can affect our body. So for instance, if I was to go really, really red in the face, it might be a sign that I'm embarrassed. Or if I had butterflies in my stomach, that might happen because I'm nervous. But in some of these instances, we're actually aware of the emotions, whereas in, in other instances, we're not aware of the emotions. So if we think about how these emotions are created in the brain and learn ways to manage the repressed emotions, then that can help reduce the symptoms. So I'm aware that for some people, this is not new information and you have read his books and you're aware of TMS, but I just wanted to start by sharing something that was basic enough for the people who are not aware of his teachings or are unfamiliar with the ideas. And I think sometimes people feel they need to believe that the symptoms are not physical. And there is a, a certain reality to that, believing that, that the symptoms are created by emotion or they're created in the brain. But you don't need to fully believe the symptoms aren't physical because that also can be somewhat unrealistic. So thank you for listening and please feel free to comment or share. Please ask any questions that you might have and I hope to get to know some of you better as well as time goes on. Thank you.